What's going on YouTube? Welcome back again to a brand new tutorial. My name is Angelo from Caps on Fire and today I will be showing you guys how to design socks for sublimation. Okay, so this is a fairly easy process. I also designed this template myself. So if you guys are interested in this template, please click down in the description below. I have all the links posted for everything that I cover in this video. Okay, so today this template is going to be the sock 46 from Condi paired along with the, the uh, straight sock jig that you get from Condi as well okay so the very thing the very first thing we want to do is we want to upload GIMP just go ahead and open your GIMP software and then from there this is the one I already did so we're gonna do a new one for you guys okay so let's exit out of this and discard that so now we go to file and we go to new okay once you go here our sublimation paper that we're working with today is going to be 13 inches wide by 19 inches long. So we just make sure these two are right. Those are right. We're going to do 300 PPI and fill with transparency. Okay. This is a very crucial step. Please ensure that you have transparency clicked on this part for this to work. Okay. So once you have that checked, you double check through it, make sure everything's right. And all we do is click OK. All right, cool. So that part is completed. The next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and bring in our template. Okay. When you click on the link below, you'll have three things within your download. Okay. You're going to have the sock 46 design template, which is everything that's already loaded into GIMP. All you do is click on this and you don't have to drag and drop anything but your image. Okay. If you don't have GIMP, that's fine. Okay. That's why I also included in that download this sock 46 black foreground png and this one right here the sock 46 white background png okay all you do is just make sure you lay those correctly and that'll be it so for you guys sake if you don't have gimp i'll go ahead and show you guys how to load these two in here just in case you have photoshop or any other design software all right so let's just click the black uh foreground we'll drag this over here in the gimp and then we're going to select this white background. We're going to drag this over here in the GIMP as well. Okay. So, okay, cool. So that's loaded. So now the very first thing we want to do, we, we want to make sure we um, have these layers. Make sure we have them layered correctly. Okay. So we're going to click on background. And we're going to drag that one down to the bottom. Okay. So that's it okay we want to have the black foreground on the top layer the white background in the middle and then just the regular background in the back okay so once again like i said guys this is for the sock 46 so everything is designed and aligned perfectly okay the reason i made this template is because when you do socks or you do you know certain type of uh items one you want to save ink okay that will reduce your cost all right and the next part is you may have a perfect alignment that you want to be on your socks you know you may want a name going down the back in the middle you may want something going across you know you may have some type of alignment that you need that you uh want to have correct for the customer or you know for yourself or whatever you're using it for okay so everything within the black border okay everything on the white part of the sock that will be viewable on the sock okay and the black part is pretty much the bleed edge all right and so when you put your design in here you're going to have everything on this white part and then on the black part as well but it won't be in the middle it won't be on the top on the sides or anything like that it'll be within this outline of the sock okay so that way when you press it your white sock will fit right here along this edge of the white and the black line and then when you turn your sock over and twist your uh, ends, you can also press the opposite side. So now you have, so now you won't have any white lines within your seams. Okay. So let's say we're on sock 46. If we click this uh, icon right here, the eye icon, it'll take it away. Okay. So to take the black part away, same thing with the white, but we're just going to leave the white there because we need that. Okay. 
so that's pretty much that now I'm gonna show you guys how to drag and drop your design in here and how to get it perfect okay first thing we want to do we want to grab our design where is it here it is okay this is one I made for somebody we'll just drag this down into GIMP and just place it over here okay now since this is in here we'll just wait for it to load on all the way in we're gonna drag and drop this layer in between your black foreground and your white background okay so right here right above your white background and right below your uh, black foreground so what that'll do is it'll do that okay it'll place it in between this it'll be over the white but under the black now the next step that we want to do we want to delete everything that is on the outside of this top that is on that transparent background okay so now what we do is we come down to sock 46 with white background we left we are right click on it we go down to alpha to selection okay and that'll that'll select the white we'll just wait for it to load it'll seem like it's going around the black part but that's because I have the the white background extended out past the black okay and so so you guys can see that we'll just go ahead and hide the black foreground layer just to give you guys a, a more visibility okay so we select that it's gonna take that away and it still should have the alpha to selection see there you go okay so it's still there so now the next part that we do we we'll go up to 28 visor helmet uh, for the person I made we'll right click on it and we will go up to add layer mask okay and we're gonna add layer mask to the selection and what it means by selection we're gonna add a layer mask to the alpha selection that we made on the white background so that way it'll keep everything that's within these moving lines it'll keep everything in that but delete everything on the outside so now we just hit add and there you go it starts deleting everything that's on the outside of those lines and once that's done all you do is come up here to select and then you click on none and that's it guys just that easy you made your um you got your sock template done okay so now the next thing that you guys want to do is you want to come up to file and you want to go, go down to uh, export as okay so we're gonna export this to our desktop as 28 new sock and you want to export it as a PNG as well okay guys please export export it as a PNG that way you guys get that transparent background all right, so just we just now hit export. All right, come down to the next line, click export as well. We don't have to click anything in there. And then that's it, guys. Once that bar gets all the way full, it'll be done. All right, and just like that, we close this out. Close this out. 28 new sock. And there you go, guys. Just like that. There go your uh brand new sock. Okay. There go your template. So now all you do is you just make sure you get the sock 46 paired along with the straight sock jig. And this will fit perfectly for that jig even after you put the sock on it. Okay. I already sized everything out for you guys to make it as easy as possible. All right. So after that, you just sublimate it. Make sure you put this on one side. So you have to print out two sheets of this. Okay these are for one side and then you um sublimate that side take it off flip the jig over um and then you like kind of like maneuver the ink well maneuver the sock over just a little bit to uh get that full bleed and then you sublimate the other side okay so just make sure you print two sheets of whatever design you're doing for the front of both pair and for the back of both pair okay so that's pretty much everything today guys 
Once again, I want to thank you guys for viewing and please, please click down below and subscribe to my channel as I will be uploading tutorials on a consistent basis, okay? So, once again, all the links and everything will be down below in the description and that's it guys. Until next time, Angelo out. Oh, oh, oh.